Yeah, but most of the bits on the Opie and Anthony show were real. Every once in a while, we would have to like maybe kind of spin something because we were going to get in trouble for doing it. But in general, man, it was as real as it got. And there were a lot of times program directors would tell us, don't you do that. And we would just march down the hall and do exactly what they didn't want us to do. We put it all on the line for you. I hate to say this, but there's one bit, one giant Opie and Anthony bit that was not real. And uh, it, the bit itself was real. Ah, oh, man. Well, I, might as well, though. I mean, I say this uh, after telling you guys that the overwhelming majority of stuff we did on the Opie and Anthony show was real. Well, we were in Boston at WAF, the only station that really rocks. And we came up with an idea that we didn't uh, throw past anybody. Um, we didn't tell management. We didn't tell anybody. We just knew it would get everybody talking in Boston. And we uh, decided to go on the air and give away a hundred grand, a hundred grand. We never said money. We just said, we're going to give away a hundred grand and people lost their fucking minds. And we teased it and said, coming up soon, we're going to give one of you lucky listeners a hundred grand. The way that we were safe, we never said money. We never said a hundred thousand dollars. We just said a hundred grand. So the spin, uh, the spin was after like getting everyone really excited that they had a chance of winning a hundred grand. Oh, people are saying, "Oh my God, yes, yes." This is the first time I'm admitting it. I don't know if Anthony has ever admitted it, but so we got all of Boston that was listening to us. They were freaking out, like, "Holy shit!" Opie and Anthony are giving away a hundred grand. And the spin out was that we were going to give them a candy bar because we never said money. We just said we're giving you a hundred grand. So we were ready to finally do the contest. And we were all in, man. Me and Anthony were all in with the consequences and everything. We got to do this. And uh, Bruce Mittman and uh, Dave Douglas, they were sort of our bosses up there. I say sort of because no one was really telling us what to do. No offense to those guys. Um, they ran in and basically said, if you don't fucking spin out of this and, uh, and, and, and get a fake winner, then you're fired. And they meant it. And me and Anthony, if we did the bit a year or two years later, we would have said, fuck you, and we would have done it. But I'm not going to lie. We were, still, uh, we were still growing hair, hair on our balls. And me and Anthony look at each other like, ah, this contest worked perfectly. This contest worked perfectly. So we're like, you know what? We were big, but uh, we didn't want to take too much of a chance. So uh, we had this sales guy, Jim. We used to call him Crazy Jim. We said, Jim, I need a favor, man. You got to be the winner for the 100 grand because they're threatening to fire us. I hate admitting this stuff, but I, I admit this, and I'll say it again uh, with the fact that uh, the overwhelming majority of the bits we did on the radio were all real. So uh, Jim goes, all right, I, I think I could pull it off. So we make believe we're taking the 10th caller. He's waiting on a line that's already on hold. We make believe it was a random call. We pop it down. It's Jim, the sales guy, yelling and screaming that he won 100 grand and he's going to buy a new truck, a new truck. And... Um, and then, you know, me and Anthony come in to entertain the, the huge audience we had up there and, and, and tell him, how are you going to buy a truck with a candy bar? Hey, what are you talking? He's freaking out now because he's realizing that he just got had. And uh, he, he played it well. But if you really listen to that, uh, that audio, I, I don't know how believable it is in the end. But we had no choice. And I hate to admit it. Yeah, we, we did the phone call with the, uh, with the sales guy. To, to make sure we wouldn't get fucking fired for that bit. Hello, AF. You're the 106th caller. I'm sorry. Oh. Hello, AF. Hi. Hi, who's this? Hey, it's Craig from Waltham. Hey, Craig, uh, guess what? Oh, did I win? You are did the 107th caller. Shut up! No way! Damn it, I won! Good, I good. won! Oh, no way! You're kidding, right? 107th. Oh, wow! 107th caller. Congratulations. Oh, my God! You just won a hundred grand, bro. Oh Jesus! Do you know what I'm gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with the hundred oh, grand? Man, the first thing I have this old. Oh, I cannot. Jeez, I gotta calm. Calm down. Calm oh. yourself. I, I am the winner. 
I'm the winner! Well, what are you going to do with 100 grand? <laughs> I got this... Sh oh, man, I got this sh box for a truck. I've got to get a new one. A new... Tr oh, that... Oh. Wait, wait, dude. How are you going to do that with a candy bar? What? How are you going to do that with a, a candy bar? We just we just gave you a, a hundred grand candy bar. What do you What do you mean? We gave away a hundred grand. It's, no. a, it's it's a candy bar, bro. Congratulations. What? We you just won a candy bar. Hey, what the? F you been? So I've been listening to fucking radio for like three hours, man. You said a hundred grand. Yeah, a hundred grand. We gave you a candy That's bar. A candy Congratulations, bar. buddy. Boy. Oh, you guys are a bunch of douchebags. Hey, hey, get, hey. Congratulations, hey. man. <laughs> uh oh. He was pissed. So. Yeah, true story. Actor, sales guy. But he did he did a pretty good job with it. Let's see. Uh, what about the heterosexual bit Jimmy did? <laughs> was that fake too? <laughs> I don't know. Jimmy admitted a lot of stuff on our show, so.